Love, Dr. Show. Love, Dr. Show. Love, Dr. Show. Show. Beatles! Yeah! Oh, this isn't a dream. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Love Doctor. I got a new shirt. Ooh. By new, I mean Jimmy gave it to me. So, this reeks of failure. Smells like blueberries. So, I guess uh, Jimmy smells like blueberries. Okay, now what are we going to talk on this Love Doctor? Well, if you read the title like a smart goose, you already know. Yes, I said goose. Talking about what? Your relationships with your friends. You're like, how does that deal with anything in love? Okay. If you can't handle your relationship with your friends, your buddies, how are you ever going to handle one with a female? Be like, well, isn't it easy? No. No, I, one of my friends, no matter how bad I can screw up, if I give him a sandwich and Gatorade, almost everything is fixed. Be like, how does that work? Exactly. You'd be like, so you make him the sandwiches? Yes. Now shut up. <laughs> Pay close attention, because this one is very important. Now I'm talking about not your friends, I'm talking about your best buddies. People I like to call your snipers on the hill they have permission to do whatever, whenever, and they're okay with it. Like, how do they get that honor? Because, as in grade school, when your teacher always says, Now, kids, no, no, they don't go kids. What am I thinking of? Now, students, in life, you will have to gain people to respect. I already give you my respect. Don't lose it. This is how the real world goes. You have no respect till you earn it, and the minute you earn it, you try not to lose it, because you won't ever get it back again. Real world tip, lightning one, the world, 977,000. We got one. How you gain people's respect. Everybody's different. Now, usually, in this time, we bring up a Jimmy story. Okay. No. No, no, no. Sure is Jimmy's because there is no Jimmy story. So Jimmy will be part of this. We go back. I don't know if I call them my glory days. We go back to college days. The year is 2013. It is a day in October. Friday night in college, and I'm with my buddies. Let's see, I gotta get, I gotta give them names. Um, okay, I'm with Turtle Face and yeah, I'm with Turtle Face and Arrow. Yeah, we went to the movie. It's fun. Arrow decides to draw on Turtle Face's van. That is very dusty. And like most guys in college, we like to bust each other chaps. So he draws a male organ on the back of the window. <laughs> I can just remember their faces now. Turtle face is very mad. Arrow is laughing. I am laughing a lot because it's funny. <laughs> Turtle face like ar, 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 ar. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> He got you good. It was like everybody out of the core. What? Everybody out of the core. Okay. Then arrow's like everybody out of the organ truck. Shut up, arrow. So we're both out of his car and he leaves. He was like <laughs> he Arrow drew the male organ, and you laughed. And because I laughed, because I thought it was funny, I got kicked out of the car. He drew, he got kicked out. And the turtle face just left us there 
at the fun barn. Okay? Fun barn is like, I don't know, 10 miles away from college. So I look at Arrow, he looks at me, and I'm like, well, we can call campus security. You mean banana patrol? Yes, Arrow, I mean banana patrol. He's like, nah, we'll go find somebody. So we go back to the movie theater. And, you know, I find people, they won't leave for another two hours. We'll tell stories with them later. Way in the season. But Arrow finds somebody, and he has a really cool car. It's one of them, like, sports cars, where it's, like, really cool, really flashy, and I'm in the back, and my head hits the roof. <laughs> and I'm like, well, at least I'm getting home. So then, so then Arrow got me back home. Okay. Later on, he was like, why did you not leave with tur Turtle Face? And I'm like, that ain't right. He was like, you're an okay guy. Later on, Turtle Face used to, used to be, used to be one of my good friends. It was like one of my childhood friends where we act like 12. But I guess he had his panties in a bunch. So, yeah, we don't ever talk to Turtle Face. Me and Arrow, we talk all the time. We became best buds. That's the story. And he is one of the snipers on my hill. So, you usually get people being on your hill by something extraordinary because you prove to them you're a good friend, you're a brother, you'll take a bullet for them. That's how you know your buddies are. You gotta call them out. You need to have that. Because when these girls, and be like, oh, it won't happen. When these girls dump you or leave you or you break up with them. You need your support group. You need your buddies on the hill. And they will talk some sense into you. And until you're one of them hill, until you're one of them buddies on the hill. And you talk crap about one of the girls, they'll blow you off. Best example I can give is your buddies in hill is in like the movie American Sniper in the Desert Storm. No man left behind. That's what me and Arrow did. We didn't leave a buddy hanging. We wasn't even that good of friends. But we proved to each other, yeah. That's a story. So get all your relationships together, your, guy, your friends, before you start dating. Because what's gonna happen if you don't have a good hill, happened to me in grade school, all your buddies will just leave. Now granted, normally I say if all of them leave, probably wasn't your buddies, <laughs> but I, that one, I got the, most of them back. It was bad time on my part than theirs, but I took some stupid girl. Don't take some stupid girl. Well, what if they're the one? If they're the one, they'll understand that. Until then, your buddies on the hill, if they fire, you talk to them. Because my hills, shoot first, tell me later. I've been the love doctor, handling relationships with your friends. Or, as we're probably going to call this, you see in the title, your snipers on your hill, how you got them, and why they're there. One important note before we end this episode. When buddies in your hill... Enjoy the moments you have with them, because you never know when they'll go away. Last year, I lost one of my good buddies in my squad. You know, there's a day I don't think about them, but like most of them people that die young, they die way too soon, but the impact they leave will never be forgotten, and they'll build the squad up. Now everybody in the squad is into computers because that's the last conversation I ever had with him. That's also why my computer is called Cyber Azeo. I know nothing about computers and he was supposed to help me. But now, now the squad's back together. We got Lightning, Deadeye Dick, and Grassman Jones. Guys, we will game again very soon for another two weeks and then we'll stay up until 5 a.m. playing games and drinking energy drinks.
And audience, hang in there if you need love. They will find you. Till then, hang out with your snipers.